Okay, this is 10.3 continued. I did previously record this video, um, but the sound didn't pick up, so I'm recording it again, and hopefully the sound will work this time. So I am just going to kind of reveal the steps as we go along. So for example 5, it says, find all points, if any, of horizontal and vertical tangency to the curve. X equals t squared minus t plus 9, y equals t cubed minus 3t. So remember, for horizontal tangents, that's when dy dt equals 0. And dy dt in this case is going to be 3t squared minus 3. If I set that equal to 0, I can add 3 to both sides, and I would get 3t squared equal to 3. I can divide by 3 on both sides, I'd get t squared equal to 1, which means t would equal positive 1 and negative 1. Now for vertical tangency, dx dt has to get set equal to 0. So our, the derivative of x with respect to t is going to be 2t minus 1. If I set that equal to 0, I can add 1 to both sides, giving me 2t equal to 1, and then eventually dividing by 2 on both sides and getting that t equals 1 half. Now, um, in WebAssign, however, they don't necessarily always just ask for the theta or the t values. Sometimes they want to know the points, the um, the x and y points for the horizontal and vertical tangency. So quickly, if I go back over to this problem, example four, um, notice that down here we found, um, well, let me cover that up, but we found that theta equals pi. Well, if I plug pi back in here for x and then plug pi back in here to get y, I end up with a point negative one comma pi. And if I do the same thing for these two thetas, if I plug in pi over 2 for all the thetas for x, and then for all the thetas for y, at this point, pi over 2 comma 1. If I do the same thing for 3 pi over 2, plugging it in for all the thetas here, and plugging it in for all the thetas here, I end up with this point, negative 3 pi over 2 equal to negative 1. Now, um, this works because you end up with this and then you just go back and you plug it into x and y. So here I ended up with these three t values. Now I just need to go back and plug them into my x and my y function. So if I plug t equal to 1 into the function, if I plug 1 into here, I get 9. If I plug 1 into here, I get negative 2. If I plug negative 1 into this function, I get 11. And if I plug negative 1 into this function, I get 2. So these are the two points of horizontal tangency. For t equal to 1 half, if I plug 1 half in here, I get 35 over 4. And if I plug in 1 half in here, I end up with negative 11 over 8. So this is the point of vertical tangency. Now, here is a formula. So they say arc length and param parametric form theorem. If a smooth curve C is given by x equal to f of t and g and y equal to g of t such that C does not intersect itself on the interval between A and B except possibly at the end point. So it starts and then it finishes where it began. Um, you don't want to have things looping on themselves when you're trying to find arc length because you don't know where it starts and where it stops. Um, then the arc length of this of C over the interval is given by this fu this formula here. So the integral from A to B, dx dt squared plus dy dt squared or f prime squared plus d prime squared, whichever way you look at it, okay? So example six says find the arc length of the curve on the given interval, round to three decimal places. So we have x here, we have y here, and if I follow the formula, my t values are from negative one to three, and the derivative x is 8 and the derivative of y is negative 5. So if I square each of those and I add them together, I end up with the square root of 89. Now this is just a constant, so when I integrate a constant, I get that constant times t, which still has to be evaluated from negative 1 to 3. So if I plug those in for t, I end up with 4 squared 89, which was this decimal in the calculator, which when I rounded it to three decimal places, I ended up with 37.736. So that is an example of how to find the arc length in parametric form. And you already have a couple of examples how to find points of tangency in parametric form.